Hello everyone and welcome to Joy Homestead. My name is Jamie and this afternoon I'm out here prepping the garden for a whole bunch of vegetables that are going to be going in the ground here in the next couple weeks. Here in the main garden this may look like chaos to everyone else but to me it makes sense. So here we have a bunch of survey flags and I did this to mark either where individual plants are going to be, where to put the trellises, where we just kind of roughly put them in today. We're going to go through and tighten up that fencing just to make it more stable, but just making sure it works and that there's enough room to get around. So over here, we are going to have peas along the fence, and then here along this trellis will be tomatoes on the left with carrots on the right. Same thing for this trellis, tomatoes on the left, carrots on the right. This trellis, We'll have tomatoes on the left, basil on the right, and at the end of each trellis, I'll also have some flowers, more than likely marigolds. All of these green flags are for pepper plants, so I'll space them out more appropriately once I have all my starts. And then the other side of the peppers will be some new oregano plants. And then in the back, more tomatoes. And then in the very back, I'm going to have some tomatillos and some cucumbers. And then along that garage wall there are going to be dry beans. And all along this fence will be green beans. And I still have some weeding to do. I'm going to clear up the perimeter around the fence here just to make sure all the grass and weeds are pulled. On the outside of the main garden, this is the future location for onions. Next to it, we have garlic already in the ground. They were planted back in late October and they are doing very well. Next to that, this is going to be the new herb garden. And then over here, future potato bed. I spent some time today just trying to weed out some stuff and start digging trenches. This fenced in garden space is 20 feet by 24 feet. And yes, I plant intensively. I follow the square foot gardening guidelines. Um, it's gonna be a little trickier this year cause I'm a bit ambitious with what I want to plant. So I have to make sure that there's proper airflow. So that's why I'm spacing everything out with the flags. I'm just trying to get a good visual on if this will work, if not, we will adjust. But this is the last garden tour without any vegetables in the ground. So next time we do one of these, hopefully this space is filled with so much life and yumminess. Thanks for coming along with me today out in the garden on this beautiful afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.